The Elite Women's Race, round eight of the Telenet Super Prestige Series going into it with Celine Del Carmen Alvarado leading in the general classification from Yara Castelline. And Alvarado, the new world champion, straight down the center. Inga van der Heiden, Ava Lechner, and Shirin van Anroy with the riders. They got the best start. The new junior world champion that is heading, heading to Telenet Balwa's Alliance for next season, led out. And she would be in some quite esteemed company as the race started to unfold. Anna Marie Hurst got past her. Celine Del Carmen Alvarado behind. Little mistake from Van An Roy. Alvarado would get back up to the leader. But it was all sorts of issues today for the world champion. Hurst could just concentrate on her race at the front would come down to a battle between uh, these two. They would be joined uh, later on in the race. This was three laps to go behind them as uh, Alvarado had to dismount. This would look like the point where she damaged her shoe. Denise Betzema was gradually closing the gap down. It was a swift shoe change for Alvarado into the pits. One shoe off, shoe back on. And it was a, a super quick change. She would recover and again make it back up to the leaders. The two riders that really have gone head to head on countless occasions so far this season. Would it come down to a battle between them or could Denise Betzema spoil the party at the front into the home straight? And Alvarado got the front. Got the feet back in. She has had the measure of the triple seven rider behind her over the last uh, few races, including the World uh, Championships. Alvarado kicked on while Betzema had momentum to come past. Worst for second, but the day, the victory, and the series overall a belonged suit to Celine Del Carmen Alvarado. The elite men's race, just one point separating Laurence Swake and Ellie Isabet in the general classification. Lars van der Haar of Telenet Bawa's Alliance third with 64 points, but he was uh, going to be challenged uh, hard by Quentin Hermans and Corny van Kessel. Tonart still not out of uh, contention for the overall podium. It was van der Haar, the Dutchman, that got the best start and an elite leading group forming at the front. They would later be joined uh, by Tom Pidd lap two it was still uh, van der Haar at the front he was swapping off with Quentin Herman Swake the Belgian champion and series leader overall was tailing the group the British champion Pidcock got up to the front group but on a descent going down super hot the feet came out for Pidcock and uh, that was the end of his attack Swake got the front Issa bit was chasing hard behind with van der Haar and uh, Tonart but the Belgian champion would kick on through the sand. He had the forward motion and the momentum. And once he got the front, he never looked back. Lap four of nine, it became a time trial for the Belgian champion. Still hunting for his first elusive victory in that Belgian champion's jersey. He was looking good for it in the final round here in Middelkirke. The battle for the podium spots overall behind. Van der Haar was looking good, so was Tone Arts while Michael Van now and Ellie Isabet were playing the dutiful teammates to the series leader overall. The final lap. Swake was riding away to victory. Arts was managing to distance Eliezerwitz for the second spot on the podium. Cleanly through the sand and up the next bank into the pits for a final bike change. It was on to the Belgian champion's bike for Swake. He rode down the finishing straight for the victory here in Middlekirk of the North Sea Cross and the general classification. The winner all the way, Laurence Swait. While behind him, Tonarts crossed the line for second. Elise a bit phenomenal season for the Powell South and Bingo Rider crossed the line in third. <laughs>